Hey guys, this is Chris once again. Welcome back to another video. And this is another request this time from Peter. Again, and he wanted me to react to Watch Mojo's Top 10 Ridiculous Horror Movie Creatures. Um, uh, this is from 2012, so I assume that the, the jeans, the killer jeans, or Benny Loves Yarn on the list, even though I love those movies. But let's see which one they pick. Let's check it out. Yay. These aren't the living nightmares you normally expect to fear. Lord, I will never trick again. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 most ridiculous horror movie creatures. Please be advised, this video contains mature, if stupid, content. Number 10, Killer Tomatoes, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. I don't like that that movie, Killer Tomatoes. That movie is, is weird, stupid, and just very ridiculously stupid. I mean, I know that's what the movie's supposed to be, but my god, that movie has some of the worst effects in the fucking world. <laughs> Moving on. Kicking off our list is the famous, and some would say laziest, horror creaturization of all time. Created to parody the B-movie horror genre, these tomatoes aren't the harmless garden variety you're used to. They're sentient and have a serious hate on for humanity. You can run, but you can't hide. Number 9. Leprechaun from Leprechaun. Hey, Leprechaun's, good to Leprechaun's a good movie. At least the first one is. He wants his gold, and he's happy to molest Jennifer Aniston to get it. <laughs> this unusual, magical, and doubloon-obsessed monster tries to be funny and scary at the same time. <laughs> but let's be honest, how scary is a three-foot dwarf on a tricycle? Not to mention that he's vulnerable to a laundry list of charms, including four-leaf clovers. Little girls should look for four-leaf clovers. <laughs> it's a good Number movie. Eight, the Ape Man, Night of the Bloody Apes. Never heard of this movie, but it looks fucking stupid as well as the tomato movie. This meshing of man and ape is the result of a mad scientist trying to cure his son of leukemia by performing the first ever ape to man heart transplant. What could possibly go wrong? Well, the kid's head mutates into that of a hairy ape. Apparently, ape head is the leading cause of the insatiable urge to tear men apart and remove women's clothes. It looks stupid as shit. Number seven, killer clowns. Killer clowns. It's not. Killer Clowns from Outer Space is one of the best 80s horror movies to ever watch, Mojo. That is, it is legitimately a good fucking movie. It's got crazy special effects. It's got some, some great set designs. It's got some great, um, designs for the clowns. It's a good movie. It's not, I mean, some of it's kind of cheesy, very cheesy, but the clowns are legitimately creepy, man. I don't get why it's on this list. They're not ridiculous at all. They're actually creepy as shit from outer space. As if clowns weren't scary enough. What are you gonna do? Knock my block off? It's a good movie. Why is he on here? These prey on our fear for the makeup wearing performers by arriving in a circus tent and trapping innocents in cotton candy for later consumption. Not goofy enough, they also use popcorn guns and acid filled pies to carry out their unique invasion. It's a good movie though. Shorty is just adorable. Number six, Belial Bradley, Basket Case. What's in the basket? Now that movie I can see being on this list. It's literally a Siamese twin. If it stole the body of a chewed up of a piece of chewed up gum. This dude may be ridiculous, but he's honestly terrifying. Just look at this fleshy, misshapen creature. Its sharp teeth alone make it more than just another tumor with a face. This freak had been surgically removed from his brother's side and kept hidden in a basket. Of course, this makes Basket Case jealous of others and causes him to take out his rage through murder and, uh, anti-sniffing. I mean, it's, def five. it's definitely a weird movie, but I kind of enjoy the... <laughs> With the movie, at least the first one. The, the second, third one were just really stupid and nothing else, but the first one was just, was ridiculously ridiculous, ridiculously enjoyable, I guess. The Neil Boggs, Troll 2. The one of the worst slash good movies ever, in my opinion. 
It's still a stupid movie, but it's so bad it's good, you know. Stars of a cheap Italian knockoff horror flick with no connection to the original film. It doesn't even star trolls. Instead, oh it features God. the Nilbog, which are simply goblin spelled backwards. These forest-dwelling creatures disguise themselves as humans and transform their prey into green, dripping plants. And boy, do they ever like corn on the cob. They're eating her! And then they're going to eat me! Oh my god! Number four, Ass Weasels from Dreamcatcher. Yeah, I remember seeing that movie I... Uh, back in the day, it's not a movie I really remember that much, but it's definitely a, I guess a, it's, it's definitely a good movie, but some of it is just so just out there and ridiculously stupid. I don't know, man, I don't know about this movie, this one, man, it's, it's just not, it, some of it makes no sense, plus it's too, way too fucking long. It's, it has the running time link of fucking It Chapter 2, which is ridiculous. Because It Chapter 2 is an actually good, was an actual good movie. This one was just boring. There goes your fingers, yep. These aliens are pretty much long fingers that eventually grow into Roswell Greys. They originally start out as mere extraterrestrial spores before becoming sort of like the xenomorphs from aliens. However, they prefer to grow inside your bum, razor sharp teeth and all. Really? What about the shit weasels? Ones blasting out the basement door. Number three, Santa Claus from Santa's Slay. Hey, I love that movie too. Just saying. I love, love Goldberg in this movie. He was absolutely amazing. To me, anyways. This is one Santa probably not endorsed by Coca-Cola. He's a bearded demon that lost a bet with an angel and has been forced to deliver presents for a thousand years. Now that he's free, Santa is out to kill everyone on his list. Naughty or nice. It was entertaining. The beloved children's icon wasn't already an unusual choice for a horror movie monster. This bearded destroyer is played by former wrestler Bill Goldberg. <laughs> Jack Frost from Jack Frost. Another movie I really like, but yeah, the the killer does look kind of underwhelming, especially the especially the. I actually have the DVD of the Blu-ray copy of the movie, but yeah, the cover is definitely very misleading and very click. It's like a it's like a thumbnail on the YouTube video. It's clickbait, basically. Which is what I would call Jack Frost. Clickbait the movie because of the cover on the DVD. But the movie's still hilarious and I love it and I still really like it. Move over Santa. The world's best known snowman is in town for some cold blooded murder. In this spin on the children's holiday classic, a serial killer named Jack Frost is transformed when his prison bus crashes into a genetics truck, fusing his body with the snow on the ground. Obviously, this gives him the urge to ruin everyone's Christmas and, well, other things. Shane Elizabeth, man. Looks like Christmas came a little early this year. Number one, the Ginger Dead Man from Ginger Dead Man. God, three Christmas horror movies in one video. And I kind of, I kind of like this movie too. It's definitely got some boring elements to it, but I like I like Gary Busey as a ginger dead man. He just didn't really do that much killing in the first movie. And I feel in the girl's hat. The girl gets wrapped up in uh, ice cream or ice thing, I can't remember. And uh, a girl gets her finger ri ripped off, and that's pretty much all the gore you get. But I like I liked the sequels more than the original, but the first one is still entertaining, I, I in my opinion. Just my thing. Well, it sure ain't the Pillsbury f***ing dope boy. Yeah. Taking the top spot on our list is the crazed killer, Millard Findelmayer, who gets sentenced to death in an electric chair. Be honest, I'm, I'm surprised Teeth isn't on this list. Chair. After his ashes are sent to his mother, who happens to be a witch, she avenges her son's death by combining him with gingerbread mix, thus unleashing a tiny, foul-mouthed, and bloodthirsty bow-tie-wearing cookie. 
unsurprisingly, he's played by the equally ridiculous and hard to take seriously Gary Busey. <laughs> Agree with our list? Which horror creature do you think is the most ridiculous? For more entertaining top 10 lists, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Save room for dessert, cause I'm coming back for you. Yeah, I like pretty much every single movie. Honestly, let's go back and look at some of the picks they did. The Core Tomatoes, oh well, I don't care about that movie. Uh, Leprechaun, I think that's a genuinely good movie. The sequels are kind of bad, but the first one was really good. I don't think it deserves to be on the worst, the worst creature list. The Ape Man, never seen it, so I don't give, I don't care. It doesn't seem like a good movie anyway. Killer Clowns from Outer Space, I think deserves to be on the best creature, horror creatures list, if you ask me. Basket Case, I can see being on this list. Troll 2, I can also see being on this list. It is a bad movie, but it's hilarious as shit. Um, the Dreamcatcher, don't like that movie either. Um, Sienna Slay, like I said, uh, definitely a good movie. I really like the, the, um, Bill Goldberg as Santa. Like I said, it's not, I don't think it's a bad movie at all. Jack Frost, yes, the killer looks kind of ridiculous, but <clears throat> I think it's one of the better ridiculous so bad as good creature movies. Um, like I said, the, 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 the cover of the movie is definitely bullshit, but... Oh well, it's just a cover. Ginger Man, I don't really care about either. I mean, like I said, I think the sequels are better, but that's just me. But yeah, what's your top 10 ridiculous horror movie creatures? Let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching. Take care, and see you guys later. Bye bye.